T cells recognize recent SARS-CoV-2 variants. At the point when variations of SARS-CoV-2, the infection that causes COVID-19, arose in late 2020, concern emerged that they may evade defensive safe reactions produced by earlier contamination or immunization, possibly making re-disease more probable or inoculation less powerful. To explore this chance, scientists from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases NIAID, part of the National Institutes of Health, and partners investigated platelet tests from 30 individuals who had contracted and recuperated from COVID-19 before the development of infection variations. They tracked down that one central participant in the invulnerable reaction to SARS-CoV-2, the CD8 plus T cell, stayed dynamic against the infection. The examination group was driven by NIAID's Andrew Redd, Ph.D., and included researchers from Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health and the immunomics-centered organization, Immunoscape. The specialists found out if CD8 plus T cells in the blood of recuperated COVID-19 patients, contaminated with the underlying infection, could in any case perceive three SARS-CoV-2 variations, B1.1.7, which was first recognized in the United Kingdom, B1.351, initially found in the Republic of South Africa, and B1.1.248, first found in Brazil. Every variation has changed all through the infection, and, specifically, in the district of the infection spike protein that it uses to connect to and enter cells. Transformations in this spike protein locale could make it less unmistakable to T cells and killing antibodies, which are made by the invulnerable framework's B cells following disease or immunization. In spite of the fact that insights concerning the specific levels and organization of counteracting agent and T-cell reactions expected to accomplish invulnerability to SARS-CoV-2 are as yet unclear, researchers accept that solid and wide reactions from the two antibodies and T-cells are needed to mount a successful resistant reaction. CD8 plus T-cells limit contamination by perceiving portions of the infection protein introduced on the outside of tainted cells and executing those cells. In their investigation of recuperated COVID-19 patients, the specialists discovered that SARS-CoV-2 explicit CD8 plus T-cell reactions remained to a great extent flawless and could perceive essentially all transformations in the variations examined. While bigger investigations are required, the specialists note that their discoveries recommend that the T-cell reaction in gaining strength people, and in all probability in vaccines, are generally not influenced by the changes found in these three variations, and should offer security against arising variations.